G'day guys, Cam here at the Battler Workshop. Well, it's Saturday morning. Well, it's very early Saturday morning, actually, and it's very cold at the moment. I've just put the pot belly stove on, got myself a cup of coffee, and I had a few ideas swimming around in my mind for the last week about what I want to do for um, Emma's tool room competition for 2020. And, and once again, we thank Emma for putting uh, this on. It does take a lot of time and a lot of effort to run these sorts of competitions. Rustin Ox has had the uh, coat hanger competition going and that was a fantastic little uh, little competition to be a part of and it really makes you feel as if you're part of the community. And I think if you've got a little channel, small channel, you're starting out, or if you've got a big channel, it's a great feeling of community to be involved in these little competitions. So I really urge you to get in, support the other, uh, other channels that are putting uh, pieces in and uh, look at what we've got to offer. And we do have a lot to offer in our little channels. Um, so what am I going to be making? Well, I'm going to be making up a, a poor man's version of a powered drive for my top slide on my lathe. And I have worked on big lathes in the past where that's um, a proprietary item as part of a lathe. Great for doing those short tapers to put that powered drive on. But in our, our hobby workshops with our smaller lathes, trying to cut a taper off the top slide and keep that constant feed rate going with a constant pressure can be a little bit hard. We tend to compromise a little bit on the uh, on the surface finish. Um, what's prompted me to do this one is that uh, I need to make up a, uh, a balancing arbor for my little Targa surface grinder for the grinding wheels. And part of that arbor is I need to cut a taper. Um, hence the reason I want to try and make up an arrangement that will give me a nice constant feed to give me the best finish that I can on that taper. Um, I haven't done any drawings for this. <laughs> We're just unusual. We haven't done any drawings. I'm just going to do this mind to hand and we'll see how it evolves throughout the morning and see what we come up with. Um, materials that we're going to be using, I've got a bit of 10 mil bright bar uh, that I've had in stock. I've got a bit of uh, 30 mil black bar and I've got a bit of 6 mil thick plastic or hard plastic that I'll use for the uh, slideways on the, uh, on the lathe slotter. So they're the materials we've got to work with. I was a bit of a naughty boy last year. I, I didn't read the rules and I went over time by a minute or two. And uh, I got sacked, so we're going to keep this one uh, short, sharp, and sweet, and we'll keep it within the time frame. We'll stick to the rules this year, and <laughs> we'll see what we come up with. All right, guys, uh, we'll uh, we'll jump into it, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. All right, fellas, we'll see you in a tick.
Hey guys, how was that? It's a bit different. Uh, I look back through the video takes and it looked more like a, a cross between the Muppets and uh, Charlie Chapman and Buster Keating, but we all try something a little bit different in our videos occasionally just to try and mix it up a bit and, and make them a little bit more, a little bit different than what the norm is. Um, it's funny, my wife Rosemary came in probably about 10 minutes ago and uh, she walks into my, my workshop and she's very hesitant and very unsure when she comes in here. Um, it's sort of a place that I don't think she feels too comfortable in. But Whenever I'm making something, I, I get her to come over and I ask the question, what do you think it is? We play a bit of a game and, and she describes what she thinks I'm making, uh, the way she sees it in her world. So I, uh, I got her to have a look at this and said, what do you think that is, Rosemary? And she gave me a tap on the knee and said, it's a reflexology hammer. So there you go, she's a nurse. <laughs> and that's how she sees it. Um, that was great fun, uh, really enjoyed doing that. Um, big thanks again to Emma. I'm going to leave a, a link to Emma's channel down in the description. So if you don't subscribe to Emma or have looked at her channel, get across and have a look. But I'm sure you do. If you, if you subscribe to me, you obviously know about Emma. Um, she's got a great little channel. Uh, good luck to all the uh, to the other um, competitors that, uh, that have a go at this. It is great fun. And as I said, look, if you've got a small channel and you're starting off and you're a bit unsure, just have a go. It's great fun. Uh, it's a great way to get a little bit of exposure about who you are and what you do. All right, guys, uh, we'll see you soon. I've got to get onto that, uh, that balancing arbor next, so that'll be my next project on the go. And there's a couple of interesting um, twists in that, I guess. We'll see how that turns out. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers for now.